Hello and welcome. To solve this exercise, we need to know that log to base x of y multiplied by log to base y of z is equal to log to base x of z. Now let us prove this. Let us change this from base x to base 10. We have log to base 10 of y divided by log to base 10 of x. And let us change this from base y to base 10. We have log to base 10 of z divided by log to base 10 of y. Now, when we multiply these two, you will immediately see that this is going to take care of that, leaving us with log to base 10 of z divided by log to base 10 of x which is the same as log to base x of z. Now note that this can be extended to how many ever factors we have. For instance, log to base a of b multiplied by log to base b of c multiplied by log to base c of d will be equal to log to base a of d because this is going to take care of that and this is going to take care of that now let us expand this bracket we have log to base a of b multiplied by log to base b of c you will immediately see that this is going to be equal to log to base a of c now we have log to base a of b multiplied by 1. That is going to be equal to log to base A of B. We have 1 multiplied by log to base B of C. That will be equal to log to base B of C. And we have 1 multiplied by 1. That is going to be equal to 1. We have log to base C of A plus one. Now here we have log to base A of C multiplied by log to base C of A. That is log to base A of C times log to base C of A. This is going to take care of that, leaving us with log to base A of A, which we know to be equal to one. So this times this is going to give us 1. Log to base A of C multiplied by 1 is going to give us log to base A of C. Log to base A of B multiplied by log to base C of A is going to give us log to base C of A times log to base A of B. This is going to take care of that, leaving us with log to base C of B. And log to base A of B multiplied by 1 is going to give us log to base A of B. Now log to base B of C multiplied by log to base C of A, that is log to base B of C times log to base C of A. This is going to take care of that to leave us with log to base B of A. So this is going to give us log to base B of A plus log to base B of C multiplied by 1 is going to give us log to base B of C. And lastly, we have 1 times log to base C of A, which is going to be log to base C of A. And 1 times 1, which is going to be equal to 1. Now let us collect the terms. Here we have 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2. Plus log to base A of C and log to base c of a so we have log to base a of c 
plus log to the c of a. We have taken these two. Then we have log to the c of b and log to the b of c. Log to the c of b plus log to the b of c. So we have taken these two, leaving us with log to base a of b and log to base b of a plus log to base a of b plus log to base b of a. Now, when you look at these two conditions that we were given, you will see that if we add these two, we are going to have log to base a of b plus log to base b of a log to base b of c plus log to base c of b log to base c of a plus log to base a of c so if we add these two conditions we are going to get that this whole left hand side will be equal to 8 plus 13 which is 21. now look at this you will see log to base a of c plus log to base c of a log to base c of b plus log to base b of c and log to base a of b plus log to base b of a so this is basically this whole left hand side so that simply means that this is going to be equal to 2 that is this plus 21 which is equal to 23 so we have that the product of these three factors will be equal to 23 and with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.